What's going on guys? Greg here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing some more Type R customization. However, this is more so for preparation to be a winter daily. So today we're dropping the car off to Randy at Luden Soul Detailing for the full one stage paint correction followed by full front end Expel paint protection film. And then also, we're doing the entire car in the XPEL Fusion Plus ceramic coating. We're also going to do the seats in the upholstery ceramic coating. And then for the PPF, we might go more than just the front end. We're probably going to do the doors, the rocker panels, and part of the rear bumper and the rear quarters as well, just to give it as much protection as we can, given that I'm going to be dailing it every single day. And also, I park in a pretty tight lot, as I mentioned in the last video, so I'm just trying to minimize as many scratches and door dings and paint removal from the car as possible. So that's what we're doing. Heading over to Randy's right now. He's been my detailer now for, I would say, about four years. All paint correction, ceramic coating jobs, but this is my first time doing PPF with him, so I'm really excited. Thank you. All right, we made it to Randy's. What's up, man? Where'd you go? Oh, I didn't see you. What's up, baby? What's up? How's it going? Oh, you got the whole squad here. And we got, so got Alex here, too. I'll come in. How's it going? This thing looks sick. It looks nice, right? actually clean properly now yeah you saw them on the dirt that's crazy i guess that all collects from yeah, the past said, week that i've been driving it you, right? yeah but who knows how long it's been sitting in california that's true because you know that huge lot from cali? yeah i think all the cars go to cali from japan and then they just ship them around the country i think his setup's way sicker than mine <laughs> but here it is so what have you done so far? Just wash and taking trim off? So we cleaned it, washed it, took the trim off. Mm -hmm. The door panels have to come out, so we removed one already. Okay. Uh, door handles out, and then now we're gonna get ready to polish it. There's a, there's a scratch right here. You can see from here to here, but mm -hmm. it's very light, so it looks like this will come out. Maybe I know there's a lot of swirls on the car from them improperly washing it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, as we saw when we, when we were cleaning, the, uh, in between the gaskets was very dirty. Yeah. We also got to remove this factory PPF that they put in the factory. If you look, you can see the texture mm -hmm. the orange peel. This is basically just like a piece of plastic. It's not even a film that they put on here. It looks very ugly. So we're going to remove this. Do the whole door. The whole door. Uh, these, this whole rocker panel is going to be done in two pieces. One is the blue, and then the next is going to be the black. So we had to take the door panels off in order to get full coverage on the door. So the handles are off, got to do that on all four so that we can get the PPF over the entire thing and then wrap the door handles as well. So here's the door panel, brand spanking new, no broken clips. So everyone's giving me crap about keeping the bags on the seats. And I told him that I'm not taking them off until they get coated. Bro, this guy still has his bags on his seat. <laughs> also had to remove that hood vent so that they can clean inside and then they'll just wrap over the whole entire thing and then put that vent back on afterwards. The mirror cap is all scratched up from improper wash from that dealership. So, you'll probably polish that and then PPF over it too. So, as Randy was telling me, there's that rubber seal for the hood. They had to take that out as well because when they do the PPF, they fold it into the edges and then if it's all dirty in there, it's not going to stick properly. So, if you're doing PPF and they don't take that out, you should probably find someone else. Someone else also mentioned that they don't do VIN stickers anymore on Hondas. So on the older ones, you would notice that they have VIN stickers on each side of the fenders, on the bumper, the hood, and then all like the doors have the one as well. So 
They basically gone away with that. I think 8th gen was the last car to have that. Randy has a plotter and he's able to pre-cut the big sheet of vinyl into smaller sections which are direct fitment for each panel of the car. So as he told us this morning, we only had the front end on the software, so everything else that we decide to do has to be cut by himself, by hand. So I think he has them all marked here. Like this one is right fender. This one here, left fender. So a lot of pre-cut already. And then here is the just the roll itself in case uh, we need to custom cut anything. Expel Ultimate. A little, this is, so you see this? This is like a little pinhole in the paint. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, we can't do anything about that. So what we're doing now, we're removing that factory panel PPF on both sides of the car so that we can fully wrap the entire door and this is from the other side the small piece of PPF they said the XPEL is actually a lot thicker than this so that's crazy and this already feels pretty thick Randy just handed me some PPF gloss carbon fiber. So this is not regular vinyl wrap. This is actually a carbon fiber PPF and the quality just looks so much better. And I think we're gonna try on some stealth too. Randy's gonna give you- We can show the, the depth. Yeah, that looks nuts. And this is self-healing. It's, it's actually a little bit thicker than regular PPF, so this has even more protection. This is about 10 mils, where a regular gloss is 8. We got a little soul detail and banner. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the uh, matte black one, right? Yeah. So here's that piece of stealth. This is the satin PPF. I'm actually really curious to see how this looks on the Boost Blue. Because I don't think I've ever seen a Stealth Boost Blue before, or any Type R to be honest. Alright, so this is Alex Visuals. What's up guys? Tell me about your setup, that looks pretty crazy. Um, just the Ronin SC Gimbal, the Sony A6600 camera. I got a Sigma 30mm 1.4 lens, um, and this little field world monitor so I can see what I'm I filming. saw that. So I think it makes cool. it a lot easier to, you know, gauge what you're shooting. Oh yeah, instead of just looking at this tiny yeah. flip out display. It's a little hard to see it while you're like here on the gimbal on this screen. So, yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to post his channel, Instagram page down below. You can check him out. He does all the reels for Randy's business. He does a really good job on those. Got the Xpel wheel covers too. All out. <laughs> So what's the purpose of these? To not so, get them dirty? Yeah, to not get them dirty and then also when we uh, install the fender, we don't want the, fend the paper to touch the tire or the wheel, potentially dirtying the film. Also the same thing with the bumper, we don't want to dirty the film installing. So the cover actually protects the film and the car from getting dirty. Yeah. I think the, the hardest part would be the roof, but the roof is actually uh, not too wide, so it work.
it would show some of the metallic through, so it would give it a nice, uh, deeper satin look instead of like a matte flat. There you go. See, so outside when the sun would hit, you would kind of still see some of the metal, the metal flake in the paint. Yep. Hey, nice, get pants up. All right, so we just tried out that stealth on that front fender. I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest, on this color. It just looks interesting. I mean, it's hard to tell unless you do the whole entire car, but I'm still gonna stick with the clear gloss to do the entire car because I just love the way it looks right now. So I think that's the next step is to do the front end and they're gonna paint correct where it needs to be done before applying that film. And the film actually does a pretty good job at hiding a lot of the imperfections because this car came from a long way to get here and he was pointing out to me like little pinholes that are in the paint and it's like basically microscopic. You have to really put it under a super bright light and you have to look at it very, very closely. But that's his expertise. He does this, you know, PPF, you have to be really good at what you're doing on checking out imperfections before you lay it over. And something else that he mentioned, it's actually good to make sure you note all the imperfections before you wrap it because let's say you go to PPF that panel and then you do an inspection over it and you notice that there's something that looks funny under the wrap and you don't know if that's dirt that got trapped under there during the wrap process or if that was like a pinhole or a small chip that was already existing. So that's why we're going over the whole entire car in very small detail. All right, so we got this camel back thing. So what do you put in there? Just like water soap solution? Yeah, so this is gonna be the, the slip solution. The good thing about this is that we don't need a, a compressor, the battery power, and then we don't have to use a spray bottle. Oh, it's battery operated? Yep, battery operated. Damn, that's sick. We got all the pressure without having to use our hands and, and, uh, and use a spray uh, bottle. No more spray bottles. Yeah, well, yeah. we still use a spray bottle for the alcohol, which would be the tack solution, just because we use a little bit less of that. This yeah. is good because we can flush the panel and make sure there's no dirt. So is this to get any dust off before yeah, so you apply? Yeah, the final, the final wipe before you apply, just to get any little lint or anything off the panel. Mm -hmm. And then we'll wet it again, and then we'll apply the film. How much does one of those backpacks with the battery go for? This one's like 300. 300? Yeah. I've never even seen one of those before until Randy got it. <laughs> All the new toys. All the new toys. All right, for those of you guys who are giving me crap about my bags, it's finally coming off. So Randy gave us this upholstery ceramic coating. Oh man, I love that type bar on the headrest. What you wanna do is like this. See that? That's a good coverage right there. And then you would just go down and then do the whole thing. So we're switching to G-Technic. It's better for these seats. All right, so we're gonna remove the side mirrors in order to do the whole door in one piece without any seams. So we already had the door panel off to take off the handle, so might as well get the mirror off and do it properly. Was it three bolts? Yeah, it's three bolts. I'm just looking for the plug because I want to unplug it before. Yep. I uh, take off the last bolt. Ten millimeter. Yeah, it's ten millimeter. <laughs>
So this is after we applied the PPF. We're checking the thickness. Shows about 9 to 10 mils. And factory paint is about 3.7. Some places 4.4. 4.4. 4. 4. Here's a little lower. So we were around 3, 4, and then we go to about 10, 9 after the film is applied. Wow. So it basically more than doubles the thickness, the thickness of yeah. that. That's insane. All right, we're about to start on the doors. We just made it to the gas station with one mile left on the range. And look at this cool car over here. This beautiful 930 Targa. How long have you owned this? Oh, uh, 20 years. 20 years? What year is it? It's 84. 84. It's a 930, right? No, it's a not, not, not manual. Uh, okay. The, the chassis is 930, right? Yeah. Okay. It's a uh, Euro version. Oh, nice. So it has uh, more horsepower. You know Cheech at Renwork? Yeah, Cheech. Yeah. yeah, no, he serves it. Yeah, he does my car too. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you have one? I have a 997 Turbo. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I had one, I sold it. <laughs> but yeah, awesome car. Thank you. This car is so good, it gets 40 miles a gallon. It only takes like 10 and a half gallons on a full tank. All right guys, well, that's it for today. So it's basically five o'clock, the guys are going home. They PPF'd the majority of the car. They spent a lot of time just disassembling everything in order to do the PPF properly. So tomorrow they're gonna finish the four doors, the other quarter panel, and the hood. And I think we're gonna do the mirror caps in that carbon fiber PPF, which looks really good, and I'm considering it, maybe even doing it for the roof. But they're gonna finish it out tomorrow. I'm not gonna make it back to the shop by then, but besides that, the car should be done. Next time we go see it, to pick it up, it's gonna be fully PPF and ceramic coated. So again, if you guys are looking for any PPF detailing, ceramic coating, tints, make sure you go reach out to Randy at Ludensole. I'll post his link right here.